Hey there, gang. My radar meteorologist, Math Capucci. Obviously, all sights are set on the eclipse next Monday, April 8th. But I want to talk about one very special eclipse, one back more than 100 years ago that fully revolutionized our understanding of the universe around us. In 1919, Albert Einstein used a total solar eclipse to prove the legitimacy of his theory of general relativity. Now, let's back up. We all remember Einstein, the dude with the spiky hair. He was born in Germany in 1879 and lived until 1955. He was arguably the most prolific theoretical physicist to ever walk the planet. After graduating university in the early 1900s, Einstein failed to find a teaching position in Switzerland. So he went to the patent office instead in 1902. While there, he began publishing scientific papers. In 1905, he churned out four truly groundbreaking ones. He taught us about the photoelectric effect, Brownian motion, his special theory of relativity, and the equivalence of mass and energy. Then in 1915, he expanded upon his theory of relativity and introduced general relativity. But what is general relativity? It basically says that space and time can be bent by large gravitational fields. And the more mass of the object, the more that space-time will be warped. If an object is big enough, it should be able to bend light and time. Einstein did the math, and his theory checked out. But of course, this was all just a theory. After all, where would he find an object big enough to bend light? The only thing massive enough to bend light nearby would be the sun. The only problem? The sun produces its own light that would outshine any other light sources nearby. Except if the sun's light was somehow extinguished, which only happens during a total solar eclipse. If you like this video and want to see more like it, click on the like button. It really helps us out a lot. And of course, if you are not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. It's totally free. And click on that notification bell. That way you always know whenever we drop a new video or whenever we go live. If general relativity was correct, he should be able to see stars that would ordinarily be blocked by the sun. If it was real, the light would be bent around the sun. On May 29, 1919, a total solar eclipse traced a path over South America, the Atlantic Ocean, and Africa. Two sets of astronomers from observatories in Greenwich and Cambridge traveled to photograph the eclipse. One team was stationed in Sobral, Brazil, and the other team on the island of Principe, off the coast of Africa. During the eclipse, they snapped photos of the positions of the stars and compared those pictures to the night sky photos when the sun wasn't nearby in the sky. The result? A difference of 0. 0.0005 degrees, matching with Einstein's predictions. General relativity was real. And that discovery during the 1919 eclipse paved the way for scientific progress over the next hundred years, understanding relativity. So who knows? With this eclipse, it might be more than just beautiful. It might lead to a scientific discovery. Follow My Radar on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.